Today is a little bit of an unorthodox travel day. Now, honestly, we've not really been filming our travel days, and it's because they kind of get a little bit mundane. You know, once you've seen somebody fly once, you've seen them fly every other time. But we're gonna start filming our travel days that are a little bit different. Take, for example, today. We're currently in Hat Yai, Thailand, which is on the southern side of Thailand, and we're on the way down to the country of Malaysia. I think it's country number 35? Yes. 35. In order to get there, we're gonna have to take a couple different trains as well as a ferry. So, we're back in the elevator, and if you can't tell, there's no one else with us, and that's because they're all down there. It's a little bit complicated, not too bad, but it's gonna be one of the cheapest travel days we've had since we began traveling. You sad to leave this hotel, Hannah? It was a good hotel, it was like $20 a night. Yeah. Really nice. Excellent. Cup and cup. Whoops. <laughs> I'm filming this on my phone because currently the camera is super fogged up due to the uh, humidity out here. We are hopping over here to buy two tickets to Padang Basar. Two. Okay. Part 740, car 1, seat 1342. I guess, is there just one pickup? I think so. Never figured that out. It's so a platform five. That's our train over there, I think. I love that. A little early, but it's okay. Oh, I'll get on right now, I don't care. There's everyone taking pictures, this is hilarious. Like, I've seen so many people taking pictures. Put on the side. Put on the side, Honestly, for 100 baht, this train is super nice too. The seats are cushioned, which I did not expect. I was expecting kind of like metal seats, honestly. And then the bathrooms are decent size. The door kind of, you have to shimmy open a little bit, but there's a sink in the bathroom. And then there's also sinks spread throughout just in case you need to wash your hands, which I'm a fan of, hygiene, you know. And then there's these lovely fans that are circulating the air. It's 50 baht. It's not, it's no frills, but it gets the job done. It's really affordable. And honestly, it's not nearly as uncomfortable comfortable as I thought it'd be either. I also have seen some vendors kind of passing through if you want food. I haven't seen any for coffee yet though, so if we slash me drag a little bit at the beginning of this video, it's because there has been no coffee this morning. On our tickets, it says that we are supposed to sit in 13 and 14. We are in 13 and 14, but we're not on car one, which is also written on our ticket. The nice man told us to come and sit here, so we sat here. And since he looks to be somewhat in charge, yep. um, I would say we're not gonna get in trouble. So we're gonna stay right where we are. And there is no one on this train. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. There's a few people down there. Oh my Ooh. gosh. Are we moving? Yeah, we ain't sitting. <laughs> Just keep it going. Oh, the baby puppies! Oh, the baby puppies! <laughs> I think we're here. Padang Bazaar, stop number one. Uh, it took about, what time is it? 50 minutes. So I guess we got a little bit further to go in order to get to the Malaysia side of Padang Basar. But we are in Padang Basar. That much we know to be fact. <laughs> ah. So this is the Malaysia side. It's like a two minute slow roll down the tracks and now we have to go do customs. Mind of the gap. Hey, there she goes. Made it to passport control. Finally, it took a little while, but we've made it out of Thailand and into Malaysia. This is our first time in Malaysia. So uh, now we're gonna go and try and buy tickets on the commuter train that'll take us to Butterworth Station in Penang. Excellent. 
Thank you so much. Lots of food options. I can confirm I'm gonna love the food here. This smells good. This smells so good. I guess this is it. Yeah, this is it. Our second part of the journey is the longest part. That's what's coming up. We're going to take the commuter train from Padong Basar all the way down to Butterworth. And it was 11 ringgit 40 each. And that's a two hour journey. You're gonna be hard pressed to find a cheaper train than that for two hours. This is going relatively smoothly thus far, so. And we got coffee. And we also got these little Nescafe original things. I feel so bad that our first coffee in Malaysia <laughs> is a Nescafe original canned coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Yum. We're on. This feels like a subway. Yeah, it's like cute. This is the face you make when you realize that Malaysia is an hour ahead of Thai time. Your phone that says 9.35 <laughs> and this is why Trey is in charge. So there are no bathrooms on this train, which was honestly a little bit surprising, but so far the train has been super duper fast, so I think we'll be there in no time. Just looking outside, some of the landscapes are incredible, and I don't think we're getting good pictures because these windows are a little foggy slash cloudy, I don't know, and some of them are even busted up. There's so many people getting on and off at this one. Woo. That was insanity. Um, so now we're going to the ferry. Still need to exchange our currency. We still haven't found a currency exchange to do that. But next up is. Yeah, the ferry. Bad news is we were not able to find a currency exchange in this mall that is connected to the ferry slash bus terminal, but we were able to find an ATM, so we grabbed some cash, and now we are headed to the ferry station where we're gonna buy our tickets. This has definitely been a little bit longer of a travel day than we have had in the most recent months, yeah. but it's by far, like we said at the beginning of the video, the cheapest we will probably ever have. The cheapest for the amount of distance that we're going. We're changing countries. We traveled like hundreds of miles and to do it for $5 each, yeah. can't beat that. And we're getting a bit of a workout. Golly. It's like we need to go in this line. Yeah. So we're back in the elevator and if you can't tell, there's no one else with us. And that's because they're all down there. Literally, I think there was a mad dash for some reason for the ferry right now, like only right now. Yeah. That was funny. The uh, police officer that's behind me asked us what happened. We are like, it's just, it's too busy. Even if we take the ferry, like we take the ferry and then it's a 40 minute walk to our Airbnb, which we weren't gonna film. So it just made the most sense to uh, go ahead and come back in here, go down to the bottom floor and then call a grab. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, I'm sticking with it, I'm not proud of it. But you know what? Sometimes you just bite the bullet and pay the $5. Thank you so much. Man, I wish. <laughs> we're not that fancy. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, guys, we have made it here to Georgetown. I hope this video, oops, sorry. 
<laughs> I hope this video was a little bit informative. If you're interested in how to get to Georgetown from Hat Yai, then hopefully this video kind of satisfies your needs. And if you're watching it because you enjoy our content, thank you so much, first off. And second off, if you would be so kind as to leave a like, that will help YouTube know that people enjoy our videos. I'm rambling, it's been a long day. I woke up really early, did not have a coffee for two hours. So I'm gonna wrap things up here. But first, we have something to show you, and it's this view. Check this out. Oh. Wow. Let's end it at that. See you guys later.